We've got some exciting updates to share with you today. Samsung's One UI 7.0 is on the horizon and it brings a slew of new features and enhancements that are sure to shake things up. From a revamped control center to a dynamic new feature that's reminiscent of Apple's Dynamic Island, there's a lot to unpack. So let's dive right in and explore what's new in One UI 7.0. First up, let's talk about the overall look and feel of One UI 7.0. This update is not just about aesthetics, it's packed with under the hood improvements that promise to deliver the smoothest and most optimized animations we've seen yet. Samsung is clearly stepping up its game, aiming for a user experience that's both visually appealing and buttery smooth. One of the standout features in this update is the enhanced camera system. The Galaxy S24 series is set to benefit from a major camera UI overhaul and rumors suggest that this is to unlock the full potential of the device's hardware. Now, users can expect to see top-notch color accuracy and ATR performance across all camera modes. Whether you're shooting in 50 megapixel 1X, 50 megapixel 5X, or the standard 12 megapixel mode, this means you can achieve stunning clarity and detail, making it easier than ever to capture those perfect shots. Speaking of the camera, Samsung has made it more convenient to access high megapixel modes by placing these options prominently at the bottom of the camera interface. This subtle yet significant change encourages users to take full advantage of the high resolution capabilities of their cameras, making it a breeze to switch to high megapixel mode for more detailed photos. This upgrade couldn't have come at a better time, especially with the iPhone 16 release on the horizon, as it positions Samsung's devices as strong contenders in the camera department. Next, let's talk about the new control center. Samsung has redesigned the notification panel, giving it a look that some might say is inspired by Apple's iOS control center. However, it retains Samsung's unique touch. The new design features thicker toggles for brightness and sound controls, making them more accessible and easier to use. It's a blend of functionality and aesthetics, combining the best of both worlds. But perhaps the most intriguing addition is Samsung's take on Apple's dynamic island. This feature allows for live activities that display in the top left corner of the screen. For instance, you can have a stopwatch running in the background and with a tap, it expands to offer additional controls. While it's clear that this feature draws inspiration from Apple's implementation, Samsung has put its own spin on it. The animations and interaction may differ, but the concept remains similar. It'll be interesting to see how this feature performs once the update rolls out. As we continue exploring the visual changes in One UI 7.0, we can't overlook the new icon designs. Samsung has updated several app icons, including those for the gallery settings, camera, weather, internet, phone, clock, and contacts. The new icons feature a more modern and cohesive design language. However, some users might feel that certain icons, like the internet logo, could have been more refined. But as always, beauty is in the eye of the beholder, so we'd love to hear your thoughts on these new icons in the comments below. And that's a wrap on our first look at One UI 7.0. This update brings a host of changes from a fresh UI design to improve camera performance and new features like Samsung's version of Dynamic Island. With a beta version expected to release soon, we can't wait to get our hands on it and give you a full breakdown. So make sure to stay tuned to the channel for more updates and detailed reviews. What do you think about these new features? Do you like the new control center and icons? Are you excited about the camera upgrades? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to stay updated with all the latest tech news and reviews. That's it for today. What are your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments section. As always, see you in the next video. And we've got some exciting news about Samsung's upcoming foldable smartphones. If you're a tech enthusiast, you're definitely going to want to stick around for this one. We're talking about the highly anticipated Galaxy Z Fold 6 series, and more specifically, the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra, which is rumored to be coming to China and Korea. Let's dive right in. Among the many Galaxy Z Fold 6 models that are currently in development in Samsung's labs, the one that has everyone buzzing is the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra. Now, if you're familiar with Samsung's ultra-branded smartphones, you know they are designed to be the best of the best, offering high-end features and cutting-edge technology. While the standard Galaxy Z Fold 6 is expected to bring some minor incremental upgrades, all eyes are undoubtedly on the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra. However, here's the catch. The Ultra isn't expected to get a global release. But don't worry, it seems this powerhouse of a device won't be restricted to just Samsung's home country, South Korea. According to the folks over at Android Headlines, the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra could also be launching in China. This is particularly interesting because it seems the rumored Galaxy Z Fold 6 Slim which we've been hearing about with its slimmer body, bigger displays, and larger battery, might actually be the Chinese variant of the Fold 6 Ultra. 
If this is true, it would clear up some of the confusion we've seen in recent weeks about how many models Samsung is actually working on. It might just be two. The Galaxy Z Fold 6 and the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra, the Ultra, limited to Korea and China for now, would allow Samsung to gauge interest levels before potentially bringing it to a wider audience. In China, the Z Fold 6 Ultra may be sold as the Samsung Go U25, complete with unique visual touches like decorative engravings on the hinge, similar to previous Samsung Gilly smartphones. And here's another interesting tidbit. China might also get the Galaxy Z Flip 6 as the W25 Flip. This is speculative at this point, but it aligns with rumors that Samsung is also working on a Galaxy Z Flip 6 Slim. Now, unfortunately, there isn't a lot of detailed information about what exactly the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra will offer compared to the Z Fold 6. This is probably because the Ultra model isn't launching alongside the standard model, but we can expect more details to emerge once the standard Galaxy Z Fold 6 goes official at Samsung's Galaxy Unpacked event next month. Samsung's Galaxy Unpacked events are always full of surprises and we can't wait to see what they have in store for us this time. Will the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra live up to the hype? Will it bring groundbreaking features that set apart from the standard model? Only time will tell. To be an upgrade. While rumors suggest a larger display and a slimmer design, the lack of S Pen support might be a deal breaker for some users. Ross Yanon also mentioned that production for the Z Fold 6 Ultra's display panels might begin later this year, with a launch expected in January alongside the Galaxy S25. This staggered release makes sense. It avoids competing with the July launch of the regular Fold 6 and keeps the Ultra exclusive to South Korea for now, which might frustrate international buyers. Speaking of launches, rumors suggest the next Galaxy Unpacked event might be happening on July 10th in Paris, France. However, Tipster E-Leak's list of expected reveals didn't include the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra. Does this mean no Fold 6 Ultra this year? Probably not. E-Leak's list might only include devices long leaked photo a few days ago, looks a bit cheap and out of place on a flagship smartphone expected to cost over $1,500. The device in the picture also appears to be wider than the current Galaxy Z Fold models, suggesting that Samsung is increasing the display size. However, the screens won't be significantly bigger. Samsung is reportedly saving the major display size upgrade for the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra and Galaxy Z Fold 6 Slim models, which are rumored to launch alongside the standard Z Fold 6 this year. Now, let's move to the front. The first hands-on image of the Galaxy Z Fold 6 has leaked and reveals that Samsung has finally listened to Galaxy Z Fold users. The new foldable phone will feature a wider cover screen compared to the Galaxy Z Fold 5. Reliable tipster Ice Universe shared this full image showing the front of the device and comparing it to the Galaxy Z Fold 5. As you can see, the upcoming foldable phone will have a wider cover screen that matches the width of the Galaxy Z Fold 5's cover screen plus one of its bezels. This wider cover screen should improve the typing experience on the Galaxy Z Fold 6 and resolve aspect ratio issues in some apps and games. The new foldable also appears to have much sharper corners for both the body and the cover screen. A tipster shared a photo that seems to show a new camera module for the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6. Although the leak only indicates that the camera module will feature a new design, it's doubtful Samsung would implement a design change without also upgrading the camera hardware. Here we have the first look at the new Galaxy Z Fold 6 outer display. A Twitter user named Ali recently shared a render comparing it to the Galaxy Z Fold 5. According to Ali, the new outer display features a boxier design and a slimmer hinge, significantly enhancing a Fold 6's overall appearance. The most noticeable difference between the Fold 5 and Fold 6 is the wider cover display. The render clearly shows what do you think about these changes? Are you excited about the wider cover screen and new design? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to stay updated with all the latest tech news. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.